Welcome to the A2 Show with Andrew Cass and Aaron Parkinson, bringing you the trends and topics that affect our lives the most. Business, politics, fitness, family, and finance. With over 50 plus years of combined business experience and over a billion dollars in revenue generated, your hosts have a unique gift for seeing many steps ahead where others do not. They bring their unfiltered, contrarian views to the show every week to help you win in business and in life. Aaron, we're talking about our favorite topic in the world today, lead generation. And more specifically, the three pillars of lead generation, which you and I both know being in the lead generation, I guess, world. For you, you could say it's your business at this point. I mean, you are officially, you're a lead generation ninja, by the way. <laughs> um, my platform allows lead generation to work properly at scale. So really, it's a good complimenting one-two punch that you and I bring to the table here. But there's three pillars. And it's so important that you know the three and understand and evaluate where you are in the three. Because here's what I'm noticing, Aaron, more and more today with businesses that struggle, is they're usually only playing in one of the three little buckets. I'm going to bring up a diagram here in a minute that will make all this visually clear to you. But the three pillars of lead generation is where we're headed today, folks. And uh, it's something that Aaron and I combined. Last I checked, my calculator doesn't even calculate it anymore. It's been so long. It's one of those things where the zeros just go off the screen. I think collectively we're in the online lead generation business combined. It's got to be about 50 years. It's getting close, close to it, which is scary. You, you, it's, getting that, is that it's, it, it's, it's getting close, which is scary. Which is five decades of combined <laughs> online lead generation experience. And I don't say that to brag. I say that because we've seen a lot. Experience matters. Track records matter. And we really see what's working, what isn't working. And things are changing very quickly today because of the internet and social media, uh, online, offline media, a lot of new things coming down the pipe. New AI has completely changed the game, which we're going to talk a little bit about today, is AI has now found its way into the lead generation game. And that's interesting on a lot of fronts. And I think that'll be a big piece of today. Well, I've got a great <clears throat> real life story to kick us off today. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. So here's the real life story. People, you know, you actually sent us, sent me the podcast numbers last week. And I was like, wow, that's a lot of people downloading our podcast, which is great. So if you're downloading our podcast, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, but I think a lot of people might get on here and, and have the assumption that we, we know everything, right? So, you know, we, we, we couldn't possibly make mistakes or do anything wrong and there couldn't be any further from the truth. We make mistakes all the time. In fact, if anything, we try to make mistakes as fast as we can so that we can get to the answers that we need. Good point. Which is part of the lead generation process. And it's well, what what is that called, Aaron? Uh, fail fast? Fail fast, fail forward. Fail fast. Right? So when you're testing things, you know, uh, Frank Kern, who's somebody who I've been a fan of for a long time, uh, he has a famous quote that if something works the first time they launch it, they don't consider it a, a success. They consider it a freaking miracle. Yeah, seriously. It's almost like it's too good to be true when it happens, right? It, it is, really. So so you might think that we don't make mistakes. I'm here to tell you today, over the last six months, I made a big one. You ready for this, Andrew? <laughs> have you told me this yet? Uh, I'm not sure if I have or not. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to hear it with the viewers then. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to show people a diagram in a bit, basically the three pillars of lead generation where you've got outbound, you've got organic, and you've got paid. Right. Those are the three pillars, right? right. And, and you and I are big believers that if you don't have a consistent stream of incoming leads, you do not have a business, you are pretty much dead in the water. That is right. And it's just a matter of time, right? So over the last five years, which we just celebrated our five-year anniversary at Seven Mile Media about three months ago, which I did take a second to stop and celebrate because there's a small percentage of I thought of it was longer, Aaron, Seven Mile Media, to be honest with you. No. It's been five years. I've, I've exited a couple other businesses before that, but for the agency, it's been five years. So I stopped and I celebrated it. I think I looked it up and it was something like 10% of businesses make it five years. Hmm. So it's worth celebrating. And I have built Seven Mile Media exclusively off organic traffic. That's right. I have built I've it been off breaking of, your chops about this for a long time, by the you way. You have been breaking my chops about it. And, and I've always said, Oh man, we're so in demand all the time that I don't need it when I need it. I'll do it and I'll get to it when I get to it and blah, 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 blah. Well, over the last six months, this, things have got a little bit more difficult in the economy. And quite frankly, I was getting burnt out on being in groups and doing free trainings and being in other people's communities and, 
you know, outbounding my network and saying, Hey, what's going on? Can I have, you know, what, what problems can I help solve for you? Like I had taken my foot off of the organic business development side. Mm. And as a result, and I'm seeing it now, our business is down significantly and you can blame it on. So let, let's talk about, actually, let me ask you a question, Andrew, when people's business is down, what are the first things that they start to reach for? What do they reach for? Yeah, the excuse. What's the excuse? My business is down. What's the excuse? Uh, they'll blame the economy. They might blame their staff, right? They might they might just blame circumstances around them. But yep. rarely will they look at deal flow or lead gen, in my right. view. So I, I was in there doing the exact same thing. Oh, the, the economy. Oh, the election. Oh, the this. Oh, Which the no doubt is probably a component. There's It's a component for sure. But then for me, I'm always about the math. What does the math tell me? Mm -hmm. So I took a step back and I looked at the math and I looked at the math in the first half of the year. How many appointments are getting booked on my calendar? How many things was I doing proactively from an organic lead development side? And what, what have I done over the last six months? And the results were shocking. Hmm. My inbound people on my calendar was down by about half, maybe more. My outbound was pretty much non-existent. And I laughed because I know this, you and I know this inside and out, which is sales cure all. And you can't make sales if you don't have leads. And when I looked at last year with all the biz dev stuff I was doing organically, I was getting about, ah, I would say 20 inbound appointments a month. And I was bringing on out of that maybe six to seven new clients a month. And then I looked at my calendar over the last six months and I was getting more like 10 and bringing in three. Well, you know, with any business that's on recurring revenue, that's on subscription, which our agency is, which your business is at, right. you have churn, right? So, you know, we keep our clients a really long time, but if you're not bringing in more new ones than you're losing, your business goes down. So my business went down and rather than looking at, oh, the team, oh, the economy, oh, the election, all the things that, you know, you can, you can reach for, which are components. I just looked at the math. The math was half. And as a result, the new clients were half. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually starting the paid lead generation side on the 1st of October for the first time in five years, which I don't even want to do, but the reality is you got to do what you teach. I'm out here spending millions of dollars a month on other people's ad campaigns and zero on mine. And if you're going to rely exclusively on organic, we actually have to be doing the things organically at scale that get you the business. And I haven't been, and quite frankly, I don't want to right now. I don't feel like it's it. It's an interesting revelation, man. I'm going to bring up this chart here. And it's, it's, it's funny because you do such a good job making paid media work <laughs> for you know, probably not every client, but most, right? I mean, nobody's hitting, a, nobody's batting a thousand client, with most. paid ads, but you're probably, sure. you're probably batting 500 or 700 with just overall conversion success on paid ads, right? Oh, if I so was why not, manager? you know, why not model for you? What I said, a fly go by me somehow here. <laughs> why not do for you, right? What you've done for us or them or whatever, right? So